Hey, my fellow YouTubers. I got a question to put out there to you guys. Well, what if... Now, this here is Coral Rock. It came from Homestead. Most likely, Ed had his hands on it. Came from the back part of the where the apartments are. It's not part of Ed's property, but it probably used to be at one time. So, what if I had, let's see, a coil? I don't know if this is going to go in the middle or not. Kind of hard with one hand. All right, so we got that to go through, right? Let's do an experiment with some coral rock, guys. We can see that here I'm going to have to tap that in a little bit. I'm not going to tap it with. Let's tap it with this. Aw, I broke my head rock. Well, we're going to have to stick. Uh, I didn't want to break my head rock. But I definitely wanted to make a point here. Is what if I had a coil that had a metal bar that came through the rock? Like you see Ed's tripod. And it's got the uh, boulder lifted up in the air, and it's got a cable going to each end of the coral. What if Ed, you notice that a lot of the rocks down there have a hole in them. What if Ed put a metal bar like this? And what if, what if he used an apparatus like this that would lift? the rock right up in the air. What if levitation in Ed's world was nothing more than changing the potential difference and stuff like this that could merely lift up anything Ed put on there. And the reason I'm going to bring this up to you guys because we all want to believe that Ed did something more than just move rocks. But I'm going to show you if this coil in a bigger form with that rod was in between the coral, would it be able to do this and lift and suspend? Now this is pretty damn heavy. This is about, mm, I'd say it's probably about 800 turns. So it's got some stout 16 gauge wire. You see that suspended up in the air, right guys? Sure do. And you do see on Ed's tripod to where he does have the cable coming down. So this further tells me that I'm on the right trail because with adding the parts to this wheel you're able to see that I could take this heavy piece of copper and to tell you the truth it won't do it for instance let me show you something I'm going to take this sleeve off of this rod here and we're going to put this in here and then we're going to give it a whirl again. Okay, let's see what the difference is. You see it lifted it up, but not a lot of strength. So basically the strength became by sleeving it making an air gap in between and then you can see that it got stronger 
and that we're able to use a magnetic tool to go ahead and lift that weight up. And really that weight does not really matter because of the magnetic strength of the windings. I just wanted to show you guys this because um, in the field here working you're going to see me going even further than this because I'm thinking about as I'm working on moving the fields around is taking this big ro coral rock I have here I'm going to drill a hole through it and then I'm going to put a bar through it with a sleeve. And then I'm going to go ahead and hook up my wires to it. Now wouldn't that be a son of a bitch if that rock just got off the ground by connecting the wires. And I, some feeling I got. Now that's actually what Ed did. He, he could have backed down the weight of each object or each rock. No telling. You see that lifting in the air. Okay guys, stay tuned.